Alright too, every time I try to make this video, I become angry and I end up stopping the videotape. I'm going to try to stay relaxed this time, okay? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to explain to people why dropping the pan, changing the filter is better than a flush. In order for you to understand why dropping the pan, changing the filter is better than a flush, you have to understand how transmission works. Now, it's too complicated for me to explain everything, so I'm just going to just start from the beginning, okay? When you start your engine, when you start the engine up, the engine turns the transmission, right? It turns the transmission pump also, okay? The pump sucks transmission fluid out of the pan and it sends it to wherever it needs to go. Before that fluid goes into the pump, it has to go through a filter. Okay? When that filter becomes dirty, it starts to restrict transmission flow. When it's restricting transmission flow, even if you remove every single drop of old transmission fluid and put brand new 100% transmission fluid, it still has to go through that dirty filter. Okay? New transmission fluid would not go through a dirty filter any better than old transmission fluid. Okay? Certain cars like Hondas and actually GM, Ford, a bunch of cars now, they're making them where you cannot change the filter. The filter is built into the transmission. There are some people like Scotty, there's some, the guy that works on Fords, the Moco Loco guy, whatever his name is, real nice guy. But um, when it comes to transmissions, he's not, he doesn't know everything. He's a damn good mechanic otherwise. But he said that you should change the transmission fluid every 30,000 miles. It'll keep the filter from stopping up, which is 100% false. It will not stop the filter from stopping up. Now, why do I say that? It's real hard to explain to a lot of people because a lot of people don't understand how transmission works. But just say this. Say you go out and buy a brand new car. Your car has zero miles on. You start driving your car down the road. Every time your transmission shifts, there's going to be a little bit of slippage. And there's going to be a little bit of clutch. Where? The clutch material is going to fall off. It's going to get into the transmission foot. It's going to fall to the bottom of the transmission. Okay. Your pump is still pumping fluid, right? So it's going to suck up transmission fluid at the bottom of the transmission. Right? This transmission fluid has a little bit of that clutch material mixed in with it. It goes through the filter. The filter will grab and hold the clutch material. Okay? Just say 30,000 miles from now, the filter may not be stopped up, but it is kind of dirty. So somebody said, well, let's drain out the transmission fluid and put new transmission fluid in it. It still has the dirt from 30,000 miles ago. Even though you have brand new transmission fluid, you still have dirt in that same filter from 30,000 miles ago. So you drive it another 30,000 miles. You now got 60,000 miles. You again drain the transmission fluid out. You put new fluid in there. And you think, wow, I have brand new fluid inside my transmission. You still have 60,000 miles of dirt from the clutches slipping. Okay, now. At 90,000 miles, you again drain the transmission fluid, you put new fluid in there, and you think, wow, my transmission is going to last forever because I keep changing transmission fluid at 30,000 miles, right? Wrong. You still have clutch material in your filter from 90,000 miles of driving. Even though you have brand new fluid, you still have clutch material in your filter from 90,000 miles ago. Now, let's take an older transmission like a GM 4T60. Alright, I don't remember what any transmission said, the owner's manual said to change. I don't remember how many miles. But just say, again, you buy the transmission brand new. Alright, you drive for 30,000 miles. You decide you're going to change the transmission fluid. So you drop the pan. You change the filter, you put a new filter in there, and you fill it back up with transmission fluid. 
you drive it another 30,000 miles, 60,000 miles, you drop the pan, change the filter, put new transmission fluid in there. You drive it for another 30,000 miles. You drop it, drop the pan, change the filter, put new transmission fluid. You now have 90,000 miles, but guess what? Your filter only has 30,000 miles on it. That other transmission I was talking about a minute ago, where you can't change the filter, that filter has 90,000 miles. So, what can you do about it? <clears throat> nothing. Can't do nothing but drive. So why did why did the makers make the transmission like that? I don't know. You have to ask them. I can't tell you. I don't know. But the point I'm making is this. Even though you take a new transmission, you change the fluid every 30,000 miles, you're not helping that field to last any longer. You're not doing it. That's all I got to say. I, 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 I can't make it no clearer than that. This is Dre. Y'all have a good day.